Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Hello again, welcome to another program of Cricket Up Close. And the topic for discussion today is technology and umpiring. It is a hot topic in the world of cricket, whatever level. People are thinking that technology should start and be very much more of the game. I uh, will refer you through this half hour to uh, Dav Watmore, of course, who's the Director of Operations at the National Cricket Academy in Bangalore. Sri Lanka's wicketkeeper batsman, prolific player that he is, Kumar Sangakkara, and from uh, India and Delhi, of course, it is Akash Chopra. Are we taking something away from what umpires do in the game? Umpiring, I feel, can be uh, is a bit of a, is lagging behind a little bit in terms of the ability for them to get some assistance to make their decisions correct. So yes, I'm, I'll put my hand up and say yes that we should be using a little bit more technology uh, in an effort to get decisions to get as many decisions as possible correct. Hmm. Now, I'm not suggesting that, that you use technology 100% for every decision, but certainly you, you can in, introduce more of these um, areas of, hmm. of helping umpires using technology. We want technology to help those umpires who stand in the middle. We don't want to disempower them. We want to empower them, don't we? We want. Do we want to keep? Uh, we, do we want to keep this character, this charm of the game? Do we want to keep that? You definitely have to keep the umpires in the game. I think that's the wonderful thing about cricket and other sports where that have actual physical referees um, overseeing the players and the rules of the game. But as Dav said, cricket has changed. The, the decisions that umpire, umpires make today have, have you know, bigger connotations. They, they go beyond just the game because yeah. winning and losing in cricket in the, in the modern game defines the salaries of the players, TV revenues of the boards, um, the, the cr acceptance of the, the enjoyment of the spectators, yep. the world, it affects a lot more than just the cricket. So we have the technology, great advancements have been made in technology over the years, let's get that to support and enhance the role of umpires mm. and give them the security of knowledge that they can make the right decision because they have these aids to, to assist them. Because we know that technology, we, uh, we use technology in terms of line decisions. We have what we call the Hawkeye, of course. We, have, we don't use the technology for LBW. It's a, con it's a very contentious issue. Umpire gives an LBW, everyone watching at home, and players in the dressing room or somebody at a bar or whatever it is goes, no, what a bad decision that is. Should we not help the umpire by using the technology Exactly. No, that, that, that's what we are doing actually. That's what we are suggesting to do uh, is empowering the umpires and actually provide them with the assistance uh, because except the people who actually have to make the decision, i.e. the umpires, uh, everyone else has, the, has access to plenty of information that whether the ball hit outside off stump or it pitched outside mm -hmm. leg stump or if there, if there was an inside edge. So the people who actually have to make the decision, why not they have uh, access to that information because mm -hmm. uh, that way they're lagging behind and they're, they're criticized heavily as well. Yeah. You know, when the ball is bowled at 90 miles an hour, Dav, or, or whether it's, whether it's Mullerton who's bowling, you know, you might get a little inside edge, boom, boom. It oh. happens so quickly, umpire has to make the decision on the spot. The point that this, this LBW and using the technology, if a third umpire can watch the TV monitor and see that it's been a thick inside edge, why can't he have the power to relate the information to the umpire there, say he's hit it, call him back if, if the umpires made that decision? No doubt. Would you um, go along with that? Absolutely, because uh, you've, you're sharing knowledge. Um, just very quickly, you yep. talked about a situation where an umpire stands at 90 miles an hour and he's got to make a quick split decision. Yeah. I went around just recently to, to some under-19 coaching camps and I stood uh, in the middle of a ground in Bhubaneswar, under-19 boys from having uh, a centre week at practice. And I was umpiring at this end and an off spinner came on. And there's this huge appeal for a bat pad. I tell you, I couldn't see it, but he smashed it, you know, and I just <laughs> gave it not out. And they're all pretty upset, you know. No, no, um, no uh, TV cameras, obviously, but it is difficult, I tell you. It's real difficult, you know. The game has evolved, I'd say, because uh, how many times, like in the past, you had uh, 100,000 people cheering at that uh, yeah. and creating that kind of noise. So inside edges, outside edges at times hmm. are difficult to hear. And but if you have something like a hotspot, which can give you, like, with 100% accuracy, whether it hit, yeah. it hit the bat or not, then why not use it? Amit Varma, Quick Info, said that anything umpires can do, Hawkeye can do better. 
You don't agree? I don't agree with that because Hawkeye is predictive technology. It can tell you when the if the ball hits a pad, it can tell you the, the, the flight path of the, and the trajectory of the ball until it hit the pad. What happens after that is the prediction. There are too many variables there, maybe a bit of late swing, reverse swing, all of that. It, 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 there's just too much baggage that comes with Hawkeye being predictive technology. If the, of course, Hawkeye will probably predict very accurately or with 100% with accuracy what happens if the ball actually finishes its flight path to the wicket keeper because then it has yeah. all points of reference until the Absolutely. action's over. But once it stops in between, you know, it's, just, you know, it's, it's just again a guess. So I think you use technology that everyone is, 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 is um, willing to accept, but at the same time you have a forum now where, you dis where these, all these things are discussed. FICA comes in, player representatives are there, the technical committees of the ICC, uh, they are there, they meet I think once a year to have a chat, but the final decision, let the ICC make a decision. Hello, we are here with technology. We're going to use these technologies from now on, and we're going to back the officials and the technology to support them. That's it. Cricketers will say, okay, fine, let's go play cricket. Do you go along with Dev that for umpires to use technology for a third umpire to tell the umpire standing in the middle whether the ball's made an, in, an inside edge uh, impact? Do you go along with that? Do you think that should be used? Because Australia, the view from Australia was that the Australian do not want that. No. Television people or the cricketers, they don't want that technology. They want the umpire to make that decision. Um, um, I don't know a single batsman or a single cricketer worth his salt would uh, would say that, oh, I want to be given out when I'm not out. Yeah. So, uh, as, and Sangha, Sangha would agree with that. And the thing is, if there is technology, if it can be used, then why not use it? Mm. It's, it's there to stay. And it's, it's there. It's, if, say, someone like, just, like he mentioned, if it's the point of impact, for instance, then if, if it's there, then why not use it? We're going to develop this uh, conversation, Dav. I know you're champing at the bit there. I'm not sure if you want to put your hand up as being an umpire, not after that first example. <laughs> but uh, we're talking about umpiring and technology, not about Dav Watmore possibly becoming an umpire. We'll be back straight after the break. Simon's compounded the issue there when he was given not out, caught behind. Ishan Sharma was the bowler. Could have been a great day for Ishan. Simon's got the, the century. But it was made all the more problematic by the newspapers the next day, Simon's gloating that he should have been given out. I think uh, that's where the, the match referee and the ICC comes in mm. and um, actually does something about things like that. I don't think, uh, I think players in their code of conduct um, has, uh, or, uh, ha have clauses should saying that the they press. cannot talk to the media yeah. about yeah. umpiring. Yeah. Yeah. Or anything, or, or decisions made by the yes. umpires, and I think uh, I think the ICC and the match referee should have stepped in right then. Absolutely right, because what it did then, it re it reduced the umpires' standing. Mm. We know that what happened to Steve Buckner, he was publicly pilloried. He went back to the West Indies, and Steve Buckner is a very respected umpire. Um, that shouldn't have happened. That I think in his defence, it's always two sides of the coin. I think what he was trying to say was, and from from my memory was, look, you get some shockers over the years, some bad decisions, this time it worked in my favour, so it, it balances it out. But the effect that it had wasn't, wasn't good at all. Uh, in that match, Akash, when that ball went past and every Indian cricketer thought that Simons had hit it, and Ishan went down the pitch and was a 19-year-old full of exuberance, he knew, everyone knew, because cricketers know when a batsman's hit it, right? When it goes back to the keeper, it's 20 yards back. What could I mean, the umpire's finger went up, did not go up did rather. Go up. What would you have liked to have seen in that instance that could have changed that decision and got Simons back to the pavilion? A referral. A referral. Yeah, definitely. Why not? Uh, India appealing. And, and, and everyone knew that he made it, including right. Simons. So only the umpire didn't hear it. Right. And there could be reasons to that. There could be too much noise or he just missed it or whatever. They can make mistakes. But right. at the same time, there should be some way 